New efforts tonight to make certain college students stay in school and graduate. One promising sign is an increase in the number of enrollments at online universities. Nearly 2 million students are now taking most of their college courses online. Inez Ferre with the story. One of the greatest challenges facing America is keeping all of its almost 19 million students in college. Currently, about 4 out of 10 students in the U.S. don't graduate within 6 years. That's not a surprise to Patrick Callan, who studies higher education. Some students are simply not well prepared, and so, you know, they don't finish. Uh, other times, it's the quality of the teaching and the counseling they get while they're in college. And a third uh, problem that gets bigger every year for American students is the cost of college is getting so high that many of them are working excessively to the point where they either reduce their credit loads and uh, never quite finish. One solution to close part of the gap may be collegiate studies online. Last year, almost two million students were taking most of their higher education online. A large portion of those are over the age of 25, working full or part-time with family responsibilities. For a lot of folks, especially working adults, it's uh, a matter of convenience very much. Um, the, the format is very conducive to doing the degree on your own time, on your own schedule. Many, many online programs at bachelor's level are essentially bachelor's completion programs where uh, people can get that additional uh, credit in the most convenient, sort of frictionless way possible. Even though some may think online studies would be cheaper, colleges often charge the same or sometimes more than campus classes. Four-year colleges can cost up to $50,000 annually. The average student graduates with more than $21,000 in debt from student loans. We've got to look at making, uh, getting the costs and the tuition down for students on the campus and off the campus. For the U.S. to be globally competitive, experts say the percentage of young adults with bachelor's degrees has to increase to about 60 percent. Right now, it's 39 percent, behind countries like Japan, South Korea, and a handful of European nations. And experts say not only do we need to graduate more college students, but also train them in global competitive fields. The percentage of bachelor degrees handed out in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics has slowly decreased over the last 40 years, from slightly over 35 to about 31 percent, Lou. As the nation and the economy increasingly becomes technological... Yes the number of uh, mathematics and natural science degrees has declined. The percentage of students yeah. who are taking, yep. Amazing. Uh, and the idea that these online universities are actually charging more than brick and mortar universities, they're effectively arbitraging the ability of the student to work and pay for his or her education online. They say the... That's, that is really clever strategic thinking on the part of an entrepreneurial organization. But this is clearly where it would seem uh, there's an, uh, an opportunity for the old brick and mortar uh, universities to exploit uh, their nonprofit basis. Yeah, they say that the advantage for the people who are studying online is that they don't have to commute, they don't have to spend on babysitters, etc. Uh, and they get to work. All right, <laughs> thanks a lot. Appreciate it.